Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Man, I really hope you're doing well. You doing okay? It's Friday, July 27th, 2018. I give you that date, even though you may not be watching this on that date, because it's time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. A couple of things. The pocket dump deconstruction is where I go through what I'm carrying today and talk about it with you and show you what's up. Uh, you can also see it on my Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken, just like this uh, uh, YouTube channel. I did get a notice from Spydeco. There are two new knives coming real soon. They accidentally uh, showed. <laughs> they accidentally sent a notice to the club members saying about the wrong two so we know those are coming in August these two are very good knives I've been waiting for them the next two very good knives I was waiting for them so I'm really excited about it so probably sometime next week we'll do two days of um, knife of the day but right now it's the pocket dump deconstruction I'm, I'm smiling big as I get ready to start because someone uh, commented and it was a real nice comment with a happy face at the end uh, yesterday I wore my Apple watch my silver Apple watch and they said what are you this is great but what about the crappy high-tech wristwatch <laughs> which I think is great uh, I have two Apple watches and the reason I wear them I have a all black one in the in the silver one is because when you're in meetings all day it's so great to be able to do this, flip your wrist quietly. It's I never use I never take out my phone during a meeting because I think it's tacky. But I love just flipping, seeing what's happening, and keeping in touch. Believe it or not, I also keep in touch with you guys on my wrist as well. So it's a real nice thing to do, and that's why when usually when you see me with an Apple Watch, it's because I'm planning on some meeting time. But today, it's Friday, Friday. Oh, thank goodness it's Friday. Uh, my birthday was last Saturday. I took Friday, last Friday, and Monday off. So I had a four-day work week. And I, I don't know, am I the only one? Um, when I have a short work week, it feels double the time. But anyway... Um, today it's the Rolex date just for this Friday and oh, hold on I need this oh, it smells so good I'm so used to now you can't smoke anywhere this is a Ramon Alones Ayones um, a Cuban cigar I love this Cuban cigar you know nowadays and I, I understand why you can't smoke. I don't smoke this at work unless for us outside by the garage, <laughs> the parking garage uh, at work. I'm not going to sit out there and smoke a Cuban cigar outside by the parking garage. But I do sniff it throughout the day <laughs> to relax. And it smells so good, especially after being in the human doors, <laughs> in my human doors with a bunch of cigars. Shown design pin. Uh... The full tie version. Uh, one of my coach wallets. You know, it's funny. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, man, what do you do for a living? And all of that. And I, I don't tell anyone. And I won't tell you. Because sometimes I reference work. And this is totally separate from work. In fact, the reason I'm doing this is because of work. And I wanted something totally out of it. A hobby. I tell people at work when they get all stressed out and stuff, and I was late to the hobby business. I keep telling everyone, you need a hobby <laughs> to take your mind off of work. <laughs> and that's this is mine. Um, scotch, the blended kind, but still real nice. Um, but a lot of what you see on the table, a lot of it is 20 years old or so. I was a, I had my own business as a consultant based on what I do for a living and it was pretty successful for seven and a half years and of course you know you're a consultant you want to look nice I really went really big on watches 
whenever I signed a new client, I got a new watch and uh, loved Coach and all of their leather goods. This, the, the coin of the day, I always carry a one ounce coin and this one is the 2000 uh, Chinese Panda. I just grabbed this. I, I might have done this not too long ago. I literally have thousands of <laughs> silver coins and I've been running around and just grabbing one instead of going through them all. I'll start cycling through them. I keep thinking at some point, whether you guys like it, <laughs> you may not, but I do a lot of collections and, and I do want to go through my coins. For you guys, yes, but also to make a record for me uh, as well of the coins. This is the Spyderco Spin. This is going to be my keychain knife. Uh, this is the one, of course, with the Nascision scale. This is the Spin. is a real nice small knife, 1.9 inch blade, Warren Cliff blade. I always call it the pizza slice, but a nice Warren Cliff blade, VG10 steel. The blue Nascision, uh, of course, that's a Japanese pattern that's used on uh, uh, the specific kimono. Uh, they work with Spydeco takes this real thin glass fibers and knits it into this pattern. It's under like a, a, a polymer kind of, a, a, you know, a smooth, under a smooth covering, but it really looks great. I have a number of these, they're usually sprint runs and um, they're in blue or black decision. But this is the spin, little knife, but man, it fits nice with these two forward choils. Just fits nice in the hand. A wonderful pocket knife you want to slip in or a, a bill holder or whatever. See-through construction, stainless steel, frame lock that even with my fat pudgy hands, easy to use. That's the spiteful spin with decision scales um i love little notepads this is the word i have a bunch of word notepads uh because they have this you know the field notes i love this is like the field notes feels the same and everything but it has a lot of different um variations on the covers different colors and patterns and that sort of thing yeah, one of my favorite knives, it really is. It's the Spidey Chef. Um, it's, <laughs> you know, they call it a Spidey Chef because it's shaped like, you ever see a chef's knife? You probably have one in your kitchen drawer. Easy cutting and that sort of thing. This is a full flat ground blade, so it's great for slicing as well. 3.3 inch blade. Just so well done. Full tie handle with the clip as well. Um, <laughs> it has a frame lock as smooth as silk. And the great thing is this blade steel comes from NASA, developed by NASA. LC200N steel. Pretty much rust proof. NASA used it in like uh, ball bearings in some of their spaceships. I always call it spaceships. I know it's rockets, but I, I, I like saying spaceships because that's what they really are. So you can tell it's real dependable. This whole thing is water resistance, uh, how they put it together. So it's not going to rust. It's good for cooking and stuff. I just like it. And thin, see-through construction, easy to slip into your pocket. This is a really nice knife, and this is what I'm carrying. I'm carrying a Spidey Chef along with the spin. Like I said, the Spidey Chef, 3.3 inches, 7.8 inches total, and it weighs 3.8 ounces. It, it's a real nice knife. I was thinking about going Chris Reeve on this Friday and the KnifeArt.com exclusive Chris Reeves, Sabenza 25. This is the 25, not the large and 
in Kosi. Number 71. They numbered the first 100 of them. And of course, 3.6 inch blade, S35VN steel. It's so well done. These carbon fibers are... Um, where they take the full front panel instead of full tie on the show side it's full carbon fiber you want to talk about how much it saves on weight this knife which is a lot bigger than the spidey chef well the spidey chef is 3.8 ounces this one is 3.7 ounces it really cuts out about a half an ounce off of the weight it's just a real nice knife of course, everything else is pure Chris Reeve. The tolerance is great. The construction, great. This is the knife that got close, very, very close to being carried today. But instead, I went with my Spydeco Spidey Chef. And there you have it. That's the Pocket Dumb Deconstruction. I hope you enjoyed it. This weekend, which is tomorrow. Oh, I can see the weekend from here. <laughs> We are going to do a big sale. Um, I'm going to look at the pricing and everything. I think the pricing has been fair. You couldn't find it anywhere else on the internet at the prices. But I'm going to take another look. We'll do a big one. I promise you some Spydecos you haven't seen. I'll bring back a couple also that you have seen. Um, I keep saying, this weekend I'm shipping out the Chris Reeves. I think I'll give them one more week with all of my Chris Reeve knives and give you guys a chance. Let's see, what else is there? Um, and I need to bring in my Browse Blade knives. So if, if you haven't tried Browse Blades, these are the mid-techs. Um, you'll, you'll see some of those on Saturday as well. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, comment. Give me a thumbs up, it just keeps me going. Um, subscribe it takes a couple of seconds turn on your notifications because I can't promise when I'm gonna start the sale I keep thinking I'm gonna start it early and it always starts uh, in the evening Eastern time um, but you'll know if you have notification and it's a first come first serve so uh, turn on your notifications as well you guys have a perfect day seriously I hope you're doing well you and your families if you're not, just remember, even though I don't know you and this is the network and I mean, I, I, this is the internet and whatever, um, at least there's someone who's thinking about you, okay? Uh, and sometimes that just helps get by the little crazy parts. And by the way, everyone goes through them. Even the people with the big channels and the people who look like they're perfect on Instagram they're human beings, man. Life can get complicated quickly, no matter what your financial level or whatever. Um, but, um, and I know it happens to me constantly. It happened to me this week. It's happened to me. Um, and the fact that I could stand up and talk in a microphone to you guys with my collection made me feel better. Um, and I hope me just saying, I get it. I know it. life can be tough, but hang in there. It changes. And when you're younger too, if you're younger, and most of you are younger than 59, it'll change several times and usually for the better. It's all about you. So, uh, I don't know. I know it's corny, but I wanted to throw that out there. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.